you came to the crib, Phil's crib, where he shares his opinions on random topics. And now, here's your host, Phil. So on today's Phil's crib, I found a video of Claudia Jordan. Most of you may know her from Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's on that show uh, this current season. Well, I saw a little thing she did for someone, and it was quite interesting. Some uh, commentary she had about us as dark-skinned black people. Let me go ahead and roll the clip. This is Claudia Jordan doing a special report for Get Entertainment. I don't usually do this, but it's for my friend Tina Zavina. It's her birthday party. It's the all-black everything birthday party. I didn't really think it was a good idea with all these black people walking around because black on black, it's hard to see. I can't really see who's who in all black. I can only see the beige people like Cecily, Jason, Jan Land, kind of Tina, myself. Everybody else, I only see teeth and eyes. So whatever, it's all good. It's her idea. It's her birthday. Claudia Jordan is just an ignorant female, and I'm going to tell you why. If me and her was in a dark room together, guess what? We couldn't see each other at all. We couldn't even see eyes. We couldn't see teeth. She sounded like a little white supremacist in the things she was saying. I mean, that's kind of stupid. And, you know, you talk about that people could see you but can't see the other dark-skinned black people. You black at the end of the day. They don't like you either, the ones who are at least racist. Like, what is it, you know, about black people? We do this a lot to each other. We always talk about each other's color. You know, if it's a dark skinned person, you know, medium tone, you know, caramel complected person, uh, light skinned person. I mean, we all black at the end of the day. And a lot of us have never been on the plantation fields in America, but yet we still act like we on the plantation field. You know, we still have people who think, uh, just because they are a lighter skin tone that they are better than other black people and you're not because i seen a meme uh on facebook one time thought it was funny and you know it had a person uh put up and it, it said a light-skinned black person dark-skinned black person and then the bottom it had white people that said they both look black to me and that's kind of how it is everybody else see us as black they don't see us as well you light skin you dark skin of course everybody see uh the different skin tones within our group but instead of appreciating the skin tones in our group and saying you know what if i like dark skin you know black person like dating wise i can have that if i like a lighter skin like a medium tone I, it's like we have a lot of diversity uh within our community when it comes to people you know, our hair textures aren't the same, um, you know, certain features aren't the same, and that's a good thing. But yeah, you want to take that slave master mentality and bring it still into 2015. That's why a lot of black people, you know, you are mental slaves. And you know, if you're not being mental slaves with color, you're being mental slaves on group thought. If black people don't think a certain way, then it's a problem. And that group thought, Who's controlling the group thought? Who's telling you that the group thought is right? That's what you always got to look at. Who is the person controlling the strings within the black community on certain things? And Claudia Jordan, by her doing that, what if somebody looked up to her who is a dark skinned person, maybe a dark skinned uh, young lady or whatever? She could have hurt her feelings by saying that. You know what I'm saying? People don't realize some of the things that they doing. She thinking in her mind, I guess she's funny. But you know, somebody could have heard her and just straight clowned her and that what if that lady right next to her uh, had a son who was dark skinned or a husband or you know, her brother or whatever. You know, maybe she would have took offense to that. Of course, not on camera, she's not gonna show her face to that. But at first she tried to laugh about it, you noticed that. And then, you know, she was kind of like having that grin like, yeah, okay, this, this helper needs to shut up. Cause she made herself look stupid, real, real stupid. And the thing is, you know, about today with the internet, once videos go online, they're there forever. You could try to hurry up and delete uh, a post, delete a video. If there was on the internet at least 10 seconds, 15 seconds, somebody could download it that quick and re-upload that, and that per somebody else could download it. I mean, it just could spread all over the world in less than an hour. And you thinking, well, I deleted it, I got rid of it. No, and Claudia Jordan may have to eat crow. Maybe a company may not want to fool with Claudia Jordan if they see that video say, you know what, oh, I don't want to be bothered with that because it could be some problems that go along with that. So before you post and open your mouth and try to act like you're so-called funny when you're in certain arenas, don't do that. Now, 
if a comedian could clown like that and get away with it, but she's not a comedian, so she don't really get that pass. You know, as black people, we need to stop focusing so much on each other's color and just treat each other right. Because, you know, one thing I can't stand about us as black people is that we attack each other for nothing. We kill each other for nothing. Uh, you know, we want to talk about racism and all this other stuff, but we got to cover our issues first, way before you can even tackle racism as a group. Because when Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and all the brothers and sisters of the past was fighting racism, they wasn't fighting that stupidity like we have now. They weren't killing each other over some shoes. They weren't uh, trying to fight and shoot each other uh, over you disrespecting me on Facebook. Of course, they didn't have that at the time, but you disrespecting me on Instagram and so now it's worth somebody's life. You know, I seen a video the other day, this, this, this youngster talking about, you know, we don't fight no more, we shoot. Like, that is the epitome of the cowards that we have in our community right now. You can't take a fist a fight, you can't get whipped. You know, you gotta wanna permanently kill somebody. I mean, we have a lot of issues going on within our community. And that's just one of them that continues day in and day out and every year talking about somebody else's color. I mean, what do we care about like this how we are as people and not somebody's doggone skin tone you know we talk about you know racist white people but really we are racist you want to talk about that we racist within ourselves we bigoted within ourselves we you know oh i don't like them light-skinned people i don't like the light-skinned chick i don't like the dark-skinned man i don't like you know it's like it, it's silly the same things that we can't stand we uh regurgitate within our own community and now who had the answers for that Nobody's forcing you to do anything. At one point down, you can say, well, because uh, we were slaves. So we ain't slaves no more. So why are we sitting up here perpetuating the house Negro, field Negro mentality? It's like programmed in a lot of us. And you got to break free of that stuff. That should have some true freedom in your life. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to this channel where we also feature so disrespectful YouTube comments and advice show radio. Want news that isn't politically correct or influenced by a corporate agenda? Subscribe to the Advice Show TV, where we present media with a common sense approach. Looking for something funny to get you through the day? Subscribe to Ratchet Video Weekly. Thank you for listening and see you next time.